Ja. Uh, how about a lesson on uh, Wild Horses? One of the great Stones tunes. I mean, it's a top five Stones tune. And, and maybe even a top five tune by anybody. <laughs> but, uh, certainly a great, great song. Um, and it's open G. One, I guess, unusual thing about this one is um, it's an open G tune that has minor chords in it, which Keith doesn't do, or the Stones don't do very often, depending on who you think wrote this one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I, th I think it's mainly a Keith tune. Um, so l let's go through it. I, I, I would do it in uh, open G. You can do it in standard and I'll run through that after the open G part. But uh, the thing to do is, uh, you know, G for the low E. Tune that down to D or get, get rid of it or just don't play it at all. But In that neighborhood is where the stones are tuned. I think that's I think that's an actual G, so it's pretty close to standard. So it starts with right. So that's just a G. Now there there is more than one guitar, one more more than one acoustic playing. One of them is Nashville strung, which is uh, uh, take a set of twelve string strings, uh, get rid of the thicker ones, and just have the octave strings. So it sounds like a twelve string a little bit, but doesn't have the the bottom end. So you get that real uh, ringy, chimey kind of sound. Uh, I think. Uh, what else do you hear? That, that uh, Pink Floyd tune, Hey You, I think that's another one. But, but you can really tell on this one that that's what, that's what they did. At least for one of the guitars. So you're in G. That's sort of an A minor, A minor 7. So uh, that one is uh, A and D at the 2nd fret, G string open. You could cover the G string at the 2nd. But I'm going to leave it open. And then uh, B string at first. You're going to come back to this chord a bunch of times. Now on the G chord, sometimes I'll throw in that high E at the fifth fret. Which on a G chord, you know, would be a regular standard tuning G chord. Would be the third fret. And then uh, cover the B string at the third. You see, uh, Keith does that quite a bit uh, when he plays those open G chords. Uh, not a lot of tunes. Uh, Rory Gallagher would do it a lot. Yeah, that stuff. Um, so sometimes I put it on there. Other times I don't. You can suspend, uh, hammer on and off the B string at the first fret. G at the second, D at the second. You know, fiddle around with those and do fills if you want to. But it's it's just these chords. I don't know how many of those. So now you're into the song proper. And so you've got this uh, B minor. This is the same as this A minor 7, move it up two frets, but this one I covered the G string on. I guess you could make it a... You don't have to cover it. But I like it with it on. So that's uh, A, D, and G at 4, B at 3. You know, B minor to G. Seven, that first chord. C all the way across. C D all the way across at seven. Back to D. So D 
C, then back to that D minor. That. Looks like an E minor with your B string at the first fret. It looks like one. suspension that you always see keep do an open G up two frets on the D string one fret up on the B so C B minor that same one the first very first chord of the verse Uh, you finally get to uh, right that guitar solo. It's just that same suspension. That's that's all the chords to it. Now, if you wanted to do it in uh, standard, it it still sounds okay. You just don't you don't get the voicings right. Yeah. So. So right away you can tell if you're wondering the, the tonal differences between a hummingbird and a dove. Uh, you can tell this one doesn't quite have the brightness. It's, it's much more mellow kind of uh, sound. So it starts on the G. A minor, and I do that one as a seven. So I keep my high E at the third fret.
be my headline. of doing it and I guess you could do but it's, it's a C and I keep the high E covered at 3 that's F with the high E covered at 3 So those are all the chords for uh, standard tuning. Together, they probably sound pretty good, uh, but I, I don't like the, the voicings of the standard chords as much um, as the open G ones. But yeah, as two parts combined, they, they probably sound really cool complementing each other like that. Um, so that's uh, Wild Horses in 13 minutes. Good luck.